I feel like that's gonna be, it has like, it doesn't have the greatest handling numbers. Jesus Christ, shots fired. <laughs> is this serious? Oh my God, it is. Hello everyone, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Jumping in with a new vehicle, Chevy Camaro. I know, switching it up from the Mustang there. I thought that there probably had to be another muscle car that was probably as good, maybe even better. So I went with the Camaro because my brain could not go past anything past that. So we're gonna be jumping in here. This thing is customized. I don't have a customized engine on though. So we're gonna start with this. I have drove it a little, but I wanna put on a different engine that will change the sound of this thing amazingly. So let's go ahead and jump into this, do some racing, some upgrade into our vehicle and try this one out and see how this is gonna do. I can definitely say that this thing is not as fast as the uh, Mustang that we've been driving, but it does sound good in its kind of current state. Again, everything's kind of max and customized we would have been fucking dead both of us uh everything's customized besides the engine i want to change that so we can see how this sounds and then kind of go from that engine sound and performance to the new one see how it does if it does any better uh this is a six speed so pretty much at this point we have nowhere left to go uh gets about like 190 and i want to say that the cobra that we had was probably getting like had to be like 200 something wasn't it we drive it so much i don't know how the fuck i can't remember honestly in this uh third person it's actually not bad it's very easy to maintain got some vehicles that kind of got sketchy we are literally maxing this bitch out so yeah 184 i'm pretty sure once we get onto flatland it's gonna get a little bit more 188, downhill a little, 190. We're just smashing. 191, that's the first time I've seen that. I'll be damned. It can do something. More. Okay, I take it back. We're going uphill, though. Oh, we're going to die. So, as, as you can see, in this form, it's not bad. Uh, I have yet to drive it on kind of like land... Or land. I'm driving it on land right now, but like roads that are normal, not on like a straightaway, trying to get the max speed. Uh, I did spend like 60,000 credits on the upgrade on this, and it's not that impressive. I feel like if I were to spend 60 on the Cobra, are you going to pick a fucking lane? No, you're all driving like imbeciles. That's good. Um, I feel like if I were to spend that on the Cobra, it would be just better in general than this, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh God, are we gonna shift? Jesus Christ. We're, we're using the uh, column shifter technically. Oh my God. You have early. I did not uh, want to go here, lady. We'll nope. Begin no. Enjoy. Nope. I refuse. Oh, it looked like a dead end right there. See, in this uh, camera angle, it's almost like, oh God, that looks so fucking good. That's the first time I've seen it in there. Holy shit. That looks aggressive as shit, are you kidding me? Yeah, you can definitely hear that it has customization, like, uh, I think it was a supercharger that we put on it. It just doesn't feel like it does as much as it would on another car. I don't know why. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe that transmission, if I were to change that, it would feel a little more crazy. It's doable, though. Oh, God. It's definitely doable. It's not like it's outrageous. And I feel like once we put the transmission on, it's gonna become outrageous. Oh, that's nice though. That looks so fucking aggressive. I know these are obviously one-to-one, -one, but Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, we died again. I don't know what's up with everyone having such bad driving skills, at least swerve. See, we didn't kill that man just driving to work. We instead killed thousands of dollars of crops. All right, I want to find some windy roads. Um, not dirt roads. Let's get a take a left here, I guess, or maybe a right, depending on what way the car wants to go. All right, I want to see how that does. I might end up using it in races too, because anything that I could do that has good power, speed, but also handling, 
that's kind of what we want to use. I definitely feel like we should do the transmission upgrade first, though. That's not bad. Ooh. Definitely felt like we were going to hit him. We almost lost control of the car. Let's see what it looks like. No, that's not bad, too. We have a roll bar. I feel like that might be what's causing good stability. There was a race there that I haven't done that was new. So what we should do... Nope. Go back that way. There we go. Uh, we're going to go to this race. We're going to do it once in the condition that the car's in. And then go back and do it again in the upgraded state. It is upgraded, but like the last upgrade I could do before it actually changes anything. Let's see where this is at first. Want to make sure I can, because we're going to drive away from it. So I want to make sure I can get back to it. Geez, looking at the starting thing there, that is going to be a long race. 5.9 miles, uh, pretty much almost six, uh, going back down to the beach. So I have to drive back up here, but I think it'll be a relatively good one that doesn't have too many turns, small turns. 5.9 mile race. Let's go ahead and see how this one goes. Okay, good start. Good start. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, first of all, Mr. Simpsons, get your... What the fuck is that, Batman? Jesus, what are they driving? I feel like I'm in a fucking absurd car, too. Okay, not bad. All right. Is this just drive whatever you want? I feel like this is... I'm over here trying something new. We got this guy in his fucking collector's fucking... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're gonna die. No, we're good. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I shifted, I think, at the wrong time during a turn. Probably the worst idea. Let's try to have a nice call. How is the Simpsons fan sticking up with us right now? What kind of sleeper shit is that? How is, what? Okay, we got a little gap. We only have six fucking gears in this too, I just really. Just used the brake. Last, uh, last episode, the first race, I want to say, we just did so goddamn good. Uh, cause I think we kept it, like, a lot slower than normal. He is right on our left. This thing sounds really, really good, though. I do like how they, the different cars kind of sound different. Instead of them taking a cheap way out and having them all sound the same. Yes, there is parts of it that kind of sound the same, but at least for the most part, sounds different. Uh-oh. Why is that skill thing on the screen? Like, it should not be there for the racing. I looked up, and that's what made us fuck up back there. I'm not going to shift, because I don't want to have... Doesn't sound like a good idea. Staying forth. We got a nice little gap because of this car, though. Any more power, I feel like it'd be a little much. Yeah, I do see the end point. We've got a nice lead, so that's going to work perfect. Let's give it a little shift. I would say this might actually be good keeping it in this manner. Oh, God. Um, but I still want to try it because it sounded so goddamn good. I think it was a... Uh, oh, God. Pick the gear. It was like a race V12. I don't know what it was. I just know it would make it stupid. There we go. Not bad. Good little first race there, but I feel like we just probably have a more powerful car than most of these people. Or AI, that is. I can already see the difference, though. Like, that other car that we made that was just that stupid meta build, it just is perfect. Um, I don't know what is different, but I could definitely just see, like, when this car launches. The other one just digs so well. This one doesn't lose control of the tires at all, but it just is lacking that immense power and I bet you it's from that transmission let's get it slapped in really quick so it wasn't the transmission it was the engine I'm not sure if I said transmission or engine but as you can see this is what we had installed this is how it sounds which sounds really good and then there's a v12 which just sounds kind of almost like the uh Cobra that we were driving before which is just absurd and everything is green which is better uh there's some here that don't sound as good. That one just kind of sounds very raspy and just not... Almost like it's dying inside. 
So I'm going to go with this 100 more horsepower. It's a V12. But I feel like uh, we have other ones too. 200 more horsepower, but we lose. I want to see how bad does that get. First impressions with this thing hitting the gas. Let's see. This is the uh, 7.2 liter V8. So not the one that we originally wanted to go with. I could just tell how much more slippery. Sir, watch out. I'm going to die here. I could just tell how much more slippery. It sounds so much more aggressive though. Kind of just sounds like multiple cars going off at once. Oh yeah, that's nice. And we have more gears to kind of go through as well too. Nice, very, uh, very wild on that back end. Very loose, holy shit. Let's see if we can get any stability out of this thing. I feel like with these cars, it's good to have like a, just a stupid version that has like everything on it. And then one that's maybe just a little bit more tamed or, or taken care of when it comes to the things that you've put on. And that last, oh, that was a good turn though. Uh, and that last car, the Cobra, we did all that like on our own with the uh, stuff and it somehow managed to, holy shit. I'm just gonna let go of the wheel so it doesn't break my fucking arm. We somehow managed to make a really good like stable vehicle. So I have a feeling I could do with this. It's just kind of getting the right parts together. Like right there, there was nothing. That whole goddamn time. Okay, we're not too far. We're about three miles away from the highway, but we could kind of go out there and see how much better or worse it is. Obviously, from this type of road usage, this is awful. Oh, God, we just overshot that one. Uh, this is awful because this is kind of what you'd be racing on. So if you can't control it on these, it's, it's almost like the last uh, Cobra build where it's just too much. It's fun to drive, but not possible to drive. You're kind of more dying, or you're killing everyone, or shooting off the road, whatever the case may be. Yeah, 170. I could definitely tell we're gonna we're gonna skyrocket right past that old fucking shit on this. I'm not using any brakes. So if you're wondering why we are kind of going through every guardrail on the way there, that is exactly why. I'm trying to like purposely let it slide, but. It's always just wanting to slide anyway, so it doesn't matter what I want. It's just going to do it. It's possible. If you just hit the brakes, it's definitely a doable vehicle uh, for racing. Yeah, like that was some brake usage right there. Really able to pull out of that gear, no problem. That was heavy brake usage. Yeah, it has no problem. We're still hitting the high gear there. Okay. One mile out, so we're going to really be able to see. But already in the sixth gear, we're up to 170. So clearly this thing just has a lot more power. That was a nice little slide right there. Totally accidental. Here's the highway. So from speed, instead of going through the whole thing, let's just see kind of where we get with this. Fifth gear. Oh, shit. It was a bad time to shift, but it all worked out. So we should have eight gears if I'm not mistaken okay already at uh, 190 beat the old speed it's gonna be able to keep it up I'm gonna have to use the steering shifter it could yeah oh god oh god it's not working I can't shift up for some reason I think it's because I have the Grand Theft Auto profile active that would make total sense oh there's a lot of people here doing drifts hi sorry Oh shit, you know, I've probably went away from that race so far, but I wanted to retry it, especially with this. It would probably just be the worst idea, but we might as well see. Round two, here we go, in the stupid customized CL1. So we'll see if this is just gonna be the worst fucking thing ever. That was a great fucking launch though. Did not lose the back end one bit. We've still got this guy in here. I wonder if the, uh, the mystery van's still in this bitch. Oh God. We should just make sure to slow down because in this thing, it's going to be very detrimental if we don't slow down and we end up either careening into the grandstands or killing ourselves. Fourth seems good though. How is that SUV? What even is that? Oh, is that the same car I have? It looks like it's an SUV. It's so fucking tall. Okay, we're getting some fucking speed. There's no, oh my God. Why is it so high up? I don't like that. All right, good lead. Uh, there was two cars racing neck to neck in front of us. Seems like we, oh my God, that was a bad idea to downshift why we were braking. 
help if I got on the actual track. Nice. There we go. That wasn't bad at all. Honestly, I think fifth is too much. Just keeping it fourth, probably. Dude, I hear them coming up so quick. Holy shit. Got to get my speed back. All right, we're using the uh, lane or the whole racetrack the right way, I feel like. Kind of leaning into the correct corners. Like, if we were to have those fucking things that they add on racetracks, I feel like we would be using them appropriately. Oh, a little too much brakes there when turning. That could have been almost lost literally the back end. Go down to fourth. Oh my God, our tires are about to break, dude. I can feel it. He is right on our left. Let me just back up. Let's just race clean. I get another shift in there to fifth. We're good. Just ride. I want to ride this one out to the next one, but that'd probably be pretty stupid. Oh, I did it again with the fucking braking heavy and downshift. I don't know why it's so aggressive when we do that. Okay, finish line again. Not the biggest gap as last time, but definitely held it the whole time, no problem. So honestly, this one's not that bad. Uh, I would like even faster with it, but that would just be outrageous. We just got 100,000 credits from a wheel spin. Wow, must be a good day on the uh, Horizon wheel spin side to be giving out 100K credits. That allows us to get like a whole nother fucking car and customize it, but I honestly can't think of any other car really that's like yeah the challenger and charger but i feel like those are just very cliche compared to maybe like elder muscle muscle cars like these i can't think of anything else though i have a viper that thing is kind of lackluster in this so i mean i just really i'm gonna look through it again but i really can't think of anything else we just got ourselves a new lamborghini suv uh as an homage to gta since they have one i'm sure this one's gonna be totally more badass uh, but it's all-wheel drive, and honestly, this is going to be kind of like a cheeky-ass win car, because if it's all-wheel drive and has this power, you already know it's going to be good. Uh, I'm going to give it a quick update and uh, some upgrades and color and all that, and we'll be right back. Now, I really don't know how bad this is going to be, but it uh, costs about 64,000 credits, so we don't have too much left. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Everything together. I mean, it sounds good. It sounds like it has a lot going on. With the all-wheel drive... It should be good. Let's see. Oh, my God. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. Like, the way it just grips and doesn't lose control. Excuse me. I'm fucking driving here. I haven't messed with the color. I should have did that. God damn it. Oh, my God. I feel like that's going to be... It has, like... It doesn't have the greatest handling numbers. Jesus Christ. Shots fired. <laughs> is this serious? Oh, my God. It is from fourth holy shit that's just absurd is it like that in every gear <laughs> that's just absurd <laughs> wow at least it stops once you fucking start driving that would literally be like an AK-47 I like how it hits it with the fucking oh my god just all the time that is crazy <laughs> that's so cool. That's the closest to fucking gunfire you'll get in this game. Jesus Christ. That's awesome. Well, uh, I feel like this thing would just be so cheeky in a race, but I'm kind of down to try it. Oh, it looks really good. A little different. Okay, it has some decent handling. The numbers weren't impressive. Like, it was kind of more scary than anything. Oh, God. But no, I think it's really good with the all-wheel drive. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, that's a big tree. Oh! Damn it. Just my luck. Crashing the new Lamborghini. Alright, final look. We've got the uh, black rims. Pretty much black accents. I didn't want the mirrors black. I saved it gray, but I guess it didn't listen. That's fine. 
Um, I really wish they had other matte colors. I don't know why they didn't have a tab of matte. It truly doesn't make any sense to me at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and try this thing. We're going to also try it in the race. Oh, I didn't see that the, uh, that the license plate is yellow on this. Kind of nice. All right, so let's see if we can find us a race just to try this thing. I feel like it would be stupid. Uh, is there any new races, though, kind of in the area? Oh, my God. This thing is just... When it pops a curb or, like, some type of uh, jump or something, just sets down so quick, and all the stability is just there, ready to go. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh. Fucking got that AK too. We're just firing that out. Let's uh, I'm gonna get the steering wheel. Jesus Christ, sorry. Oh my God, this thing is just planted. It's gonna be very sad to go back to both the other cars when this thing is just so stable at 152, no less. So this one right here, this one looks like it has the perfect turns for this car. Anything all wheel drive and some turns would be perfect. Uh, but is it going to be enough? And are we going to be able to slow down for it? So we're going to drive over to this. Uh, and then let's see how this one does. Let's get an actual GPS, though. I'm going to just drive on the way there. Just add it in. Not me commentating. I'm going to try to focus on driving as best as possible. But for anyone that just wants to kind of like hear the car and just kick back, here you go. Not bad nice little drive right there was not going as fast as i assumed it was gonna go on like the highway stretch there it really just did not um actually was quite shocked of how slow it was going but we'll see how this goes in a all-wheel drive lamborghini suv wow could this be any worse of a fucking time to be racing i'm gonna be using the uh, paddle shifters as well uh, i feel like it would just kind of flow a little bit easier with this car since there wouldn't be a column shifter in it. Wow, this is actually the worst fucking time to be racing. I've never seen this game like this with fog. 
Oh god. Wow, this is nighttime and it is super fucking weird to see this. I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck is going on? This is a mind fuck. I wasn't comfortable racing that fast during the day. What makes you think I wanna fucking die? Oh my god, if we did not have a fucking map, we would be going so slow. Holy shit, I'm surprised that it's at this time. Oh, and there's that skill song again. Welcome back. Oh, because you're just stuck there. What are you doing, bro? It's stuck at 26 seconds. What the fuck is that shit? Why? God damn it, that's so distracting now. It looks so good at this time. It's it's stupid to fucking be racing, but I gotta say that it looks good. The fog looks good. The skill song thing stuck at 26 could go fuck itself, but let's try to get some first place. Oh God, saw that one coming. I don't know how long, I really need to turn that back on to see how long these races are. Cause it just kind of helps put my mind at ease knowing that I have to like buckle down and not fuck up. Okay, that was a good one. Oh God, maybe not as much as two though, or second gear. We're in first, um, we have just a small gap. This is, see in my mind, I was like, oh, we're gonna be able to take this like 120 and it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, it's fucking not happening at all, any way, shape, or form. Oh God, I did not, I braced for that one, but not in the brakes. I'm definitely taking turns a lot faster than I would be in the other cars. Oh my God, we are just fucking shooting all these people in the stands. That one was not a bad. We slowed down tremendously, but I think maybe that's what we need to do. I wonder if everyone else is racing all wheel drive. Holy shit. Okay, I see finish line. That, okay, the fog was just up there. That wasn't that bad. That's kind of cool then. Holy shit. Maybe we were going a little too fast for third. That's oh, down there. Oops. Goddamn skill song bullshit, dude. That what? Wow, that looks weird in that light. It looks good, but also weird. We got another race that we're getting out to right now. Uh, not too far away, but I reset the game to see if it would get that skill thing off. I wonder if it's been on the whole time and I haven't even noticed it. Because I feel like it was up even from the last fucking goddamn time that we played. Probably not, though. Uh, but we got another race here. It is extremely long, and I really want to try this car, and then I want to do the Cobra as, like, like, the final test just to see if it's any better or worse, whatever the case is. Uh, I have a feeling we'll probably like the Cobra the most, the Camaro the second, and then this the third. On, like, rainy days and stuff, this would be perfect. Oh, God, good brakes, though. Holy shit. On rainy days, this would be perfect, though. Nighttime like last time, but this weather looks a lot better than before. Oh, what is that car? What does it say? Oh, God, let's just focus on racing. Fuck it. Her Majesty? What? What the fuck? Can you get out of the goddamn way? I'm trying to race here, too, you know? You ever think about... The okay, fuck you. Jesus Christ, these at... Do they even know how to fucking operate a goddamn car? Jesus, is this an SUV race like I've never seen before? But if this is what an SUV race is like, absolutely fuck it, dude. Okay, let's drop it down one more. I don't need to be that high up. All right, we got a nice little, uh, Jesus, how fast is this car? Why is there such a big gap? Let's drop it down one more. I'm gonna try to keep that gap. I don't know if this car is just stupid fast. Wow, they are just nowhere to be seen anymore, dude. Why are they going so slow? Uh-oh, one more. There we go. Nice. It actually, you are able to shift if you keep your hands somehow on the uh, wheel at like 10 and 2 racing status or whatever. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. Oh, God. Oh, we're somehow sliding this sound bitch out. I don't know how that's possible. Okay, we're good. We uh, didn't hit any fucking walls on that, surprisingly. I see the other racers coming up. But we're putting a nice little gap in between them. Oh, shit. Saw that one coming. 
If it wasn't the past six walls, it had to have been one of the ones coming up. God, it's like you put a lot of confidence into it and then you're going too fast and you're just not slowing down. Okay, they're right with us. So let's focus on keeping this so we don't fuck this up. Even if I take it slower, it means we're taking it better than smashing into a wall. So we can do what we can. Oh, I tried to get two, but that worked. Nice. Still, we're able to keep that shit. If I was using the brake, we'd be able to actually slow down for the turns. Yeah, this thing just sounds so ridiculous. Every time I let off the goddamn brakes. Or, or gas. Oh, finish line's right there. Let's focus. Nice. All right, we still got first. That wasn't bad. That was a little sketchy. They were catching up to us that time, even though last time it was way worse weather than the first time driving the goddamn thing. Honestly, not bad in this thing. It was fun. It has the grip. Uh, we'll probably bring it out, but it, it seems like it would be smarter to just learn off the more difficult cars. Oh my god. At nighttime, that's just insane because you see all the fucking the spitting of fire, dude. Jesus. Imagine this car in like drone mode with someone driving it and then you capturing that as they're driving down the road. They look fucking sick. But yes, uh, let's swap over to the Mustang so we can kind of see what it would be like to not only jump back into a faster car, but the kind of the original car. Uh, that we've been driving the most. Wow, this thing sounds like the fucking V12, the one that we were gonna put in the thing, but then ended up changing it. I wonder if that's the way we went and that's why it ended up being so much better. Cause we've done like, uh, oh, that would make sense. Oh my God, that does sound like that. What the fuck? No, just immediately amazing handling, even though we're getting all that power. Oh, but I was on the correct side of the road. Yeah, that sounds like, okay, now I see why it sounds so different, especially because I spent so much time in the goddamn fucking menu for that uh, Camaro. I can definitely tell what type of fucking engine we have. I don't know the name of it, but after listening to all of them and rubbing the engine, it's like, oh, I see. <laughs> That's quality. So yeah, definitely my favorite car though, because look at how easy it is for us to just stay in those lanes. It just feels so natural in this car for some reason. Man, fuck this game, because then I go and change it and it kicks me in the goddamn ass. Should I do that on the first? Yeah, fuck it. If it's telling me, we'll just fucking upgrade the goddamn race. Let's go ahead and immediately start it and see how this one fucking goes. Probably not going to go as good as I want with the nice little difficulty change, but let's see. I like the launch that it does, though. Now that I just gas it, it you can tell it has it set up for a launch. All right, we got laps today. I can't see them, but we got laps. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. A little loose there. That's that one turn. Okay, we took it with everyone else. Oh, bruh, bruh, bruh. I am not used to how much that back end is wanting to give out. Okay, maybe it's because I'm riding in the dirt too. Could be it. Jesus Christ. Okay, some fucking actual turns. I take it all back when you're on the fucking map. At least we're keeping our space, which I believe is almost dead ass last, but that's fine. I'm seeing the pack. So as long as I can just control my car, we should be holy fucking good. Told ya. Let's get some speed back. This is not the correct car for this. <laughs> on the larger ones, maybe sure, just a little. I can make do, but this is not it, champ. Okay, we're still holding it though. I got this uh, car coming up behind me pretty goddamn quick, it seems. All right, we're holding. I want to get in front of one of these two vehicles in front of me. That would be ideal. Come on, I'm so sorry. That was my bad. Hey, I did it though. <laughs> By totally fucking cheating, but all right. Now, if we could just hold that, they're probably angry, though. They want to get their spot back. I don't blame them. Holding it a little fast on those. I feel the tires wanting to give out. 
Oh, he's back. He's back, you fuck face. Oh, we are fighting for it. Oh, he is winning it right now. Holy shit. What you gonna do, big guy? Get the fuck out of the way or fucking get it the fuck out of the way? So, like, I wonder what makes them better. Is, like, they're driving better or are their cars faster? I feel like you can only go around a racetrack so fast. We're saving ourselves with some downshifts. Heavy brakes, heavy brakes. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Yep. They just passed me up again. Come on, get it, stabilize it. I wasn't the only one who lost control. Trying to, oh, I was gonna say, I'm trying to fucking checkpoint, fucking sour bitch. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You fucking bitch, you took as long as you could to show that goddamn thing. Fucking stupid goddamn fucking game. Come on. Yeah, that was a real shitty fucking checkpoint loss right there. I hate how if other people were to miss it, it doesn't mean shit. But if we miss it, since I don't have a key to like quickly recheck us, we have to wait for the game to show the prompt. It's like, well, let me milk it really quick. Let every racer go in front of you. Jesus Christ. That fucking turn back there has got me every time. Especially since I'm driving like ass now to catch up. Okay, we t oh, well, that was the finish too. That was spooky, bro. I need a redo. I need a redo. I'm getting my redo on that shit. So we're headed back to that one right now. I kept those as uh, statistics though. So that way when I go and do it again, I'll show I did better, you know, technically. Instead of restarting it right there. Let's see, number two. I'm not expecting to entirely win the race. I just don't want to completely lose it. So let's try this again. Okay, but fucking Hellcat's here. We should easily be able to catch up with this guy. Although he is in a wide body, which is probably giving them that snope as he almost loses control back there too. All right, fuck this. I'm just gonna focus. Let's not commentate right now. I'm just gonna fucking smash into everyone's car. Come on. Stop it. Oh, I should not have shifted then. It's okay, it's okay. Get it back, you're good. Doesn't matter, let's get it back. You're right with them still. What's up, motherfuckers? Oh, I feel like that was, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. You'll take it, okay, good, we both took it. Good shit. Whew. I think that was the last one that fucked us up too. We're dead ass last, but that's fine. I'm gonna try to get it back from at least some of these guys on the straightaways. We'll hit some heavy brakes. Or hit the back of someone. <laughs> okay, this is not, the, clearly this, I don't know why it tells me to up it if it's gonna be this fucking difficult. Like you got me fucked up right now. Fucking A, I'm having to fucking smack into walls to catch back up. I just want to catch up to one of these motherfuckers. I don't want to just beat last place. Okay, good slowdown. Much better. I don't care if we lose control. We're not going to lose it, lose it. Definitely the meta build on the right track. If not, it's just no bueno. Oh shit, we're catching back up though. But we lost it last time. Just dropping a one. Nice. Come on, car. Come on, car. Fuck that. Get in that gap. God damn it. Back here with the fucking idiot. Come on, car. There we go. Losing the whole fucking rear. Oh, really? Yeah? You getting some balls on you all of a sudden? Oh shit. Fucking shit show back here, god damn it. 
fucked as long as I don't get last. That's all I said. I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. We might have to call the ambulance for us. Fucking slow down a second. Take a checkpoint right there. Fuck it. Peace out on this motherfucker, even though he's right near me. Okay, we're chilling. Woo. Over here drifting that shit, bro. Trying to just keep ahead of this guy. Keep him at bay if I can. Just feather that shit. Nice. I have no idea what the fuck lap we're on, but has to be about like the last one, I would assume. Okay, good, good, good so far. He is right on us, but it's okay. Stay back, bitch. That's it right there. Don't lose it on the last one. The fucking stay back. Okay. Whew. Last place. Nice. <laughs> we worked our ass off for that. 11th. Wow. Son of a bitch. All right, everyone. That's going to be where we wrap up this episode of Forza Horizon 5. Definitely was cool checking out some new cars, so I will continue checking them out. Uh, the Lamborghini is going to probably be like the last one that we end up messing with, but it is cool to have an SUV all-wheel drive type car. Um, but that other Camaro, we're going to see if we could work on it and get it to be tuned just right. I can tell this one is set up like perfect with like the canted in wheels and stuff like that. Uh, but nonetheless, that is going to be where we wrap it up. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Forza Horizon 5, and we will see you next video.